Hi there, this is a flip through of a journal that I have for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, she's a big one, so you may want to just uh, grab a coffee and <laughs> grab a chair and sit down for a, a minute or two because, yeah, she's quite, quite, I'm going to do a flip through and I'll try and get through it as quickly as possible, but there's a lot of pages. She is a chonker. She's a huge one. Another one that turned into a real diva. Oh my goodness. She is so... She just makes a statement up on the shelf. Um, I actually started her last year. I made the cover and <laughs> I spent so much time on the cover and then I kind of just stuck her up on the shelf and I just loved looking at her. She was just so pretty up on the shelf, but I need room and I have to finish her and I have to get some journals out so I can make room for some other ones that I'm doing here. So anyway, um, I'll just jump right to it here. Um, she is, <laughs> she is about, I would say, I don't know, 10 inches with um, the little stuff sticking out or whatever. And she's about six and a half inches this way. And then her spine is huge. It's a, I think it's a five inch spine. All the details are in my Etsy shop. So if you want to know more about it you can look at you can read the etsy listing and it has a lot more details about her so anyway yeah she's a um i think i said a soft cover um i'm just gonna jump right into going into her pages here are you ready <laughs> she's gonna explode explode um yeah she just oh it's so pretty just so pretty um, I don't know. A lot of people don't like these over stuffed, over decorated, over embellished journals, but, um, I love them. They're just, I, I love playing in them. I love writing in them. Um, and what I'm going to do here, I'll show you like she's six signatures and she's pretty, <laughs> she's pretty tight full of stuff, but I'm going to take out the cards and stuff and Oh, this time I'm going to try and remember to show you um, what she looks like when everything is taken out of her. She kind of she kind of thins out a little bit. So that's up to the person that owns it if they want to um, take out the cards and stuff and have more room or move them around or do whatever. So anyway, um, I'll just start at the start here. Hopefully I'm in frame. Um, I just put this little leaf. Uh, you can... Actually, I made a little booklet for her as well. Oops. <laughs> um, but you can tuck stuff in there. And then the pocket, I made this journaling card, and it's just got really soft and fluffy um, eyelash trim on it. And then uh, there's all kinds of digitals in here. I don't recall. <laughs> Again, I started this last year, so a lot of the shops I don't recall, but I'll list down below what I can remember. Um, so there's just a flip out there. Um, and this is just my usual I, the journaling card that you can write on the back of. So I'll take that out and I'll take that out. Stenciling. Lots and lots of sewing. Um, this is lots of tuck spots. You can tuck stuff in there. Um, lots of inking and stenciling and coffee dyeing, ink dyeing, digitals, um, journaling card, die cuts, these die cut leaves, um, little fairy stamp. And I did leave some pages blank, even though they're, um, they have the, oh, the coffee dyeing, like the ink dyeing and, and whatever I did with it, there's still lots of writing space in it. And this is a, a hidden paper clip, clip that comes off. There. I just added some old calendar pictures that you can doodle with or play with the right on the back journaling card coloring book um, with just some fall themes like acorns and leaves and stuff pocket and I left the, the side open so that you can fit any size um, piece of paper whatever you want to put in there Another journaling card, and it's, this is um, 
Do you believe in fairies? Say quick that you believe. If you believe, clap your hands. And then you can also tuck in there, pocket there. This is just a little cutout fairy and you can tuck stuff in behind there. Another tuck spot. Lots and lots of different digitals. And what is this? So oh, die cut that got lost. <laughs> Love these digitals. And this is um you can tuck stuff in behind there. She just has a little flower on her. Um just coffee. I think maybe ink, ink tied, ink stained, ink, some rust, rust staining, little leaf die cut, flip out, some extra writing space, hidden writing space. I think I'm going to lose my voice here. <laughs> this is probably about the fourth time I've tried to get through this and... This time I'm just going. If it, if I mess up, well, just you can laugh at me, and I'm just gonna keep on going because I can't keep doing this. Um, journaling card. The journaling card. And this is just a. I printed onto sticker paper and just put that on there. This is from a book, and you can just tuck spots in there, both sides, and this is just one of those, um, oh, what's her name, Cicely, Cicely somebody or other, postcard, and this is a flip down, lots of extra writing space with some coffee dyed stenciling in there, this is from a fairy book, and I just collage that mushroom onto the page, dragonfly, um, I made these, um, oh, what are those leaves? Whatever they're called, <laughs> the fall leaves, and I just dyed them and spattered them and made them look, look like they were dried leaves. And this is, a, I'm going to tuck something in behind her. And this is a fold down, a bit of writing space, and then you open it up, it was from a, a nature book with an owl in the trees. Oh, that was a really pretty picture. Just another journaling card. Journaling card. I stamped and embossed the flowers. And this is a little tuck spot as well. Sorry if I'm out of frame here. Yeah, this is just, um, I just do the flip throughs to show whoever might be interested in buying it, what they're getting. And then if you're interested in getting some ideas, possibly just, um, yeah, that's why I do these flip throughs. <laughs> it's not like I love doing them. Um, this is just a journaling card. Oh, I guess I'll take that out. Um, die cut. Die cut. And this is just some pattern paper and tuck in behind her. This is um, echo, echo dye maybe. So yeah. tuck something in there. And this is from an old book. An autumn theme, and I just turned it into a journaling card. And this is just a little secret writing space. Just close it with the ribbon. More journaling cards and another pocket there. This is just a little booklet, some little scrappy bits and bobs, some die cut, a 
And this is just um, a napkin that I turn, I, um, oh, you put glue on it and it turns it into kind of like um, that kind of paper. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, oh, yeah, that kind of paper. Um, that's just a flip. This is just some inks and sprays and coffee dyeing and some other little tuck spot in there. This is a journaling card that has the tuck spot in behind. So you can journal on that, journal on that. Another tuck spot and then you can actually tuck stuff in behind there. This is just a fairy book. Splattered, splattered fairies. <laughs> Looks like he got mushed in amongst the dried leaves. And this is another, just a tuck spot with a ink, ink sprayed, ink dyed, journaling card. Oh, this is another journaling card. I love this picture. I use it a lot. I just love it. And this is just a little... A little um, journaling card inside the circle. You can write on the back of the circle. Another little flip. Oh, this butterfly. Oh, I have to say this um, before I forget. This. Oh, I have this just a most amazing. I have the most amazing um, clients, and she. We were, we got talking about die cuts and. I told her I was really, really wanting this um, prospective butterfly, and so she sent sent me, <laughs> she sent me the die cuts, which was so nice. So, if you're watching this, you know who you are, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, this is just a fussy cut, and I just kind of um, did a little, a little outline. Just another journaling card. Journaling card. Love that image. And this is just a little hidden journaling. You can journal under there. And I just put some feathers for the texture. Another journaling card. And this you know, open her up. And it's magnet, magnet closure. I just used some vintage music paper and then I made this little the little circles and you can write stuff on the back. Just some spray and ink. I don't know if she's, no, she's glued right to the page. And it's just a collage or a cluster. And this is a flip. And this is um envelope you can tuck stuff in there it's just um oh goodness i had some leftover brown paper and i just thought oh, i'll just die cut and see how it turns out and it's actually i liked it so i put it on there come fairies and i just fussy cut this little guy out i think you can yeah i left that open so you can put stuff in there the journaling card. I just collage this page on. Matt, I think I used matte medium maybe, I don't know. But yeah, it's two pages together. This is a little butterfly wing I just attached. It looks like it's, it belongs to the fairy there and you can tuck stuff in there. This is just from a book. <laughs> absolutely love this. It's like walking through the forest and finding a, a baby fairy. Just another flip. Journaling card. Love this autumn, autumn leaf. And the other half of that Butterfly, just another fairy card tag. Create your own magic. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> you can just tuck, I just put a piece of 
scrappy, little scrappy notebook. And then, oh, this is just, um, what did I do here? I think I was just playing around and I was, I used a real leaf to try and get a leaf imprint and just thought it was kind of cool. I think that's rust, rust, no, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, just a tag. Just tuck another drawing card inside of there. This is a little flip, and you can tuck stuff in there and keep it. It's an old book page that I. Oh goodness, rust. I think rusty water, maybe. I don't know what I was doing. Just playing around. This is more rust. Just another um, drawing card. This is the belly band. And this is, um, I think I waxed this. It feels really neat. And then I backed it so you can write on the back. And this is just a envelope. Just added this little card. Just another little card. This is um, I wo wo weave weaving. I weave some paper. <laughs> weave some paper on there, and then I just put the the leaves and a die cut. This texture paste feels really really cool. A little flip out. More of that paper. What am I trying to say? It, it, you put glue on it and it's a napkin and it turns into like vellum. It's really crispy and I just I love it. You can actually put a hole in it and play around, put a picture behind it. And then did that coloring book with the acorns. Fussy cut mushroom. Middle signature, love that, love that image. And then you can tuck something in behind her, somewhere here. There you go, just something small if you want. Another one of those photos. And then back to stone. I just backed it and then you can write on the back. You can also cut out your own images, your own photos if you want to add into that. I always include some extra photo holders so for anybody that wants to you know put photos or pictures or whatever in their journals then they can they have them handy. Mm -hmm. This little fox is adorable. Just open him up, and there's some extra writing space. This is just a paper clip, a hidden paper clip that you can tuck stuff behind. And I just added all these little fuzzies. Tuck something in there. Billy band, big journaling card. Just fussy cut that out. Another one of those leaves. Just a tab, page tab. I think I sold that right on. And this is an envelope I made. You just can tuck a whole bunch of stuff in there if you like. This was a oh a fox in a in a book that I just the image cut out the image and backed it. Some vellum maybe parchment paper maybe. Another huge journaling card.
stenciling. This is just a envelope. You can tuck stuff in there. Wing gets you and watch the wing. It gets bent. Another little tuck spot with bird. This is I love this image too. Autumn. Just extra journaling. Forgot to say. I think I think I forgot to say. <laughs> This is, um, I believe it's almost 360 pages, so <laughs> lots of pages, lots of fun, lots of room to journal or play or um, add to it, add your own touches to it. This is another tuck spot, just a little bird book that I used the page. Beautiful image. another um, Sicily. Oh, I can't remember her name. Postcard. This cute little fox. And I just added some eyelash trim. Nice and soft and fuzzy. Just a journaling card. Belly band. Oops. Big, huge journaling card. Journaling card. And this is a uh, tuck stuff in behind her. This was a um, beautiful card. Just I had the leaves. I thought I would just add it. Um, that's an extra, and then this is. Transparency. Sorry, <laughs> I'm having a hard time talking, but uh, you can see. You can see what's going on. Um, just a pocket with a die cut butterfly. What did I do with this? This was just an extra page that I'd um, stenciled. I just love the pattern. I love the way it turned out, but I just put it, I just had a um, paper clip to a page. this little cute little booklet I just have to say with this um the poor guy <laughs> um oh what's his name Bontic Bontic Digitals maybe he had uh, approached me last year after I bought these digitals and I guess he'd seen one of my videos and he asked me if I wanted to um um make some video make some journals with his digitals and he would collab and and give a discount and all this and I just <laughs> as much as I appreciate it I just don't have the time I don't I, I've been asked a few times and I simply don't have the time and the commitment to do um design team kind of things so as I, I really appreciated him and I wanted to give him a shout out thank you um a Anton I believe is your name so if you ever watch this thank you um and I'll put your shop link um down below or Etsy name um, and so, yeah, these were part of a kit that he had sent me, little, little fall animals. So I just made a little, a little, um, booklet here. <laughs> this is probably, well, bigger than domino size or whatever, but just has all the little fall forest creatures. And then you turn it over and you can write a little story or do whatever you want with the back of this. So... Yeah, and it just fits nicely tucked into the leaf there. So I won't fold that all up. Um, that was, like I said, a quick flip through, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are wanting to purchase, it's in my Etsy shop. And if not, I just, I hope that if you're making a fold journal, maybe this gave you a few ideas. I appreciate you taking your time to watch. Thank you. Bye.